that's a sign of hope, right? I mean, I've had a yeah. lot of people. That's fantastic. I'll get you out of here on this one. You and I didn't even realize this, but you wrote a whole book on, I believe it's called Parentonomics. Did yes. I get that right? Yes, that's right. You've got at least two kids. Three now. Three. three now. I've had three for 16 years. So yeah, three, <laughs> three to 16 years old. Fantastic. You you talked, you told a story in one of your newsletters a couple, maybe a couple months ago, about how you were using incentives to try to get your your daughter to actually help your son potty train, but kind of backfired. Right. Would you be able to tell either that story, like maybe, you know, a story that you've, something that maybe you've learned along the way. A lot of my friends, I'm 34, I've got a child coming. A lot of my friends have younger kids. Like what's maybe a good economic tip or two that you've learned that can help them with, with their younger kids? So um, I've learned that, I mean, parents use all the time carrots and sticks to try and get behavior that they want. Uh, and you know, a big theme of the book, and carrots and sticks is what I'm supposed to know about because I'm an economist. <laughs> and so a big uh, theme of the, of the book was, you know, how well do you, how should you think about these things? And what are the problems you find? And the problems are enormous. The problems <laughs> are enormous. So, you know, with toilet training, we tried to get some incentives, you know, you can have some candy or something like that. Uh, and, and, you know, we got good behavior on our first child was, you know, realized that in order to get candy, all she had to do was sit all day on the, on the toilet because something would eventually happen. Now, that is very good because that's kind of what you wanted. You wanted yeah. her to be sitting there and to get the feeling of that. But, of course, then she also worked out that she could uh, do a little bit, stop, come off the toilet, get a reward, go back, do it again. <laughs> the rest of it. Very clever. Um, now, again, a great function, a great function. But at some point, you have to pull the reward. <laughs> sure. We couldn't have her sitting on the toilet all day just doing this activity. Um, so it has its costs and its, uh, its benefits. And, and it also depends on the child. She happened to be a child that would respond to those things. When we had a child that wouldn't, we had, we had to come up with other things to do. <laughs> well, I... I, uh, I hope that uh, everyone who listens to that will figure out a way to maybe, I don't, I mean, I guess, what would you do from that? So if you, if you don't want, so if you give them candy every time, they're going to figure that out. Is there a yeah. way around that? I'm trying to figure it out. I feel no, like. No, no. Yeah. I mean, the figuring out was pretty good. Um, you, you have to get, there's no quick fix here is what I'm saying. Okay. Is, you know, you're going to have to, and there's no way to use carrots and sticks to save you time. Okay. <laughs> you can use that but you have to it's not going to save you any time you'll have to still put in the hours okay. to get the result you want okay oh sorry everyone i i you know i got <laughs> one of the smartest people i've ever met in my life on the podcast but you're still going to have to parent yeah i read a whole book about it but you know if you're in that mode the the book can people seem to like it <laughs> find yeah. it useful uh, check out uh, Joshua Gans, J O S H U A G A N S dot com. I believe that's the website. Yes. You got all the books, the blogs uh, uh, on there. Thank you so much for coming on. Anything, uh, anything you have coming up right now or any books coming out? No, no. Well, I, I'm still doing the work on the uh, pandemic that seems to not go away. I've got a textbook <laughs> I'm writing on entrepreneurship, so that'll be something different. Uh, come out next year so well, you are in a you are quite the renaissance man and i i thank you so much for coming on and have a wonderful evening thank you